what is going on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel so I have behind me here the F30 on some jack stands down there both the front and back and that is because I am finally going to be painting the brake calibers on the car along with the brake calibers I'm also going to be painting the V brace uh, strut piece that's on the front uh, the car there behind the front grills it's gonna be that piece inside there it's like a v-shaped um, piece that a lot of people paint from what I've seen on their F30 so I thought it looked really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out on mine so yeah I am super excited um, and if you couldn't have guessed by looking at the brake calibers on my E90 328i I'm gonna be painting both of those pieces lime green that is because that is my favorite color um, out of any color and I always want to incorporate it on the car somewhere. The easiest places would be the brake calibers obviously. Um, so yeah, since the car is just white and black basically, I think lime green is going to go super well with those two colors since they're just basic neutral colors. Not really anything colorful, the lime green will add a nice touch of color on the car and will definitely stand out since uh, the other two colors are white and black. So to paint the brake calibers and the V-brace, I'm going to be using this brake caliber paint kit that I got from Amazon. I have used this once before on a friend's car to paint uh, her calibers and this, this kit is absolutely awesome, like it is perfect. Um, let me open up uh, the box and pull everything out so I can, guys can show you what it comes with. So this kit is going to come with some brake cleaner to clean your brakes and then the paint itself it's actually not spray paint it's actually just kind of regular canned paint that you kind of would use you know you get from home depot or something to paint some walls inside your house so it's actual paint and not spray paint and you can see the color there that is the color that's going to be on uh, the brake calibers and the v-brace along with that it's going to come with a stir stick and a paintbrush since like i said it's not spray paint it's actual paint that you have to use uh, with a brush so i would say that's actually a good thing since you have more control over where the paint is applied instead of the spray paint it just kind of sprays everywhere it's kind of hard to like pinpoint what spot you want to get without you know getting some overspray so this is definitely a little bit easier in terms of getting the spots you want without getting you know overspray everywhere so that's one cool thing about this kit um, along with that it comes with a reactant uh, some sort of chemical solution uh, called the reactor you can see there this helps the paint stick to the caliber so right before I'm gonna start painting my calibers I'm gonna go ahead and pour this solution into the paint and then stir it with the stir stick that way um, it'll have some great adhesion on the caliber so that it won't peel off you know, later down the road. So that's what I'm going to be using to paint both the V-brace and the brake calibers. Uh, the V-brace isn't the brake caliber, but um, I'm gonna, since I want it to match the brake calibers, I'm just going to be using this. Um, also this is high temperature paint so it can withstand high heat from the brake calibers as you can see right there, heat resistant. So. I also have some M logos to put on the front calibers. I got black and white because I couldn't decide, but I think I'm going to go with the black uh, M logos since the color that I'm going to be putting is a brighter color, not really a dark color, so I think the black will contrast well so that you can actually see the logos uh, rather than if I just put the white, I feel like you can barely see them. I'm not a person that likes to put uh, M logos or M colors usually on a non-M car. like mine um, but since these are going on the calibers and the newer BMWs have the M logos on the M Sport brakes anyway I think it'll look uh, a lot better and a lot more genuine if I put the M logo rather than if it's just a blank you know lime green brake caliber this will make it look more um, BMW M Sporty uh, so yeah I usually don't like putting M logos but uh, I think these are an exception so for the V-brace, since I'm kind of unsure how it'll look um, and if I'll like it or not, I'm not going to be painting the actual V-brace like um, on the surface. I'm going to be covering it with some extra excess carbon fiber wrap that I still have that I never used. And I'm going to be painting on top of this. That way, just in case I don't like it and I want to take it off, I can just simply remove the wrap since the paint is going to be on top of the wrap. That way I can just go back to how it was um, with no paint. So for the V-brace, I think I'm actually just going to completely take it off the car um, so I can easily paint this. It'll just be kind of complicated if I just leave everything on there. 
um, and try to paint it with it still on the car. So I think I'm just going to take it off. So to do that, obviously I have to remove the front bumper. And I believe it's held on by like two or three bolts. Um, I'm not sure. I looked at there once after taking off the front bumper one time. I can't remember exactly, but I'll find out when I take off the front bumper. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove the V-brace first before I start painting everything, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove this whole front bumper and get started on this. bumper is off as you can see and now we get a clear view of the v-brace and now looking at it honestly with the bumper off it looks like there's a lot of room um, now that the bumper is off so I may not even take this off I may just do it with the v-brace still on here so uh, it'll be a little easier and you can see it's held on by like four T screws I think that's a T45 and I don't think I actually have that size so I think I, I'm just gonna leave it on and just do the painting process with it on uh, to make this a little bit easier so I don't, so I don't have to take everything apart. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now everything is off, even the wheels, all four wheels are off. And everything is exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean all of these surfaces that I'm going to be painting. So I'm going to clean the V-brace a bit and then all of the brake calibers and get this thing ready for the paint application. I started taping up uh, some of the area around the brake caliber that I didn't want to get paint on. And I think I decided I'm going to actually remove the brake pads. That way I won't get any paint on the brake pads and it'll just be easier to get on the inside here of where this little space is for the brake pads. So I think I'm going to go ahead and remove them. For the rear here, I think I am just going to paint over the back of the brake pad. I feel like it would just look a little better. So yeah, I took off the little spring there and I'm going to paint this individually that way I can get into the little crevices of the brake caliber. Alright, so I have everything taped down on all of the calibers. I just taped down like the, the areas that are near the brake caliber because I mean, since I'm using a brush I have more control so uh, I don't have to tape all this up uh, if, you, if I were uh, to be spray painting it, get over spray all over the place. So this is what's cool about this kit and using just a paintbrush, you don't have to tape everything down. Just tape some of the parts that are near uh, the brake caliber that your brush may be coming close to if you don't want any, any paint on it. In the back here, just simply put it on the top and then on the brake disc right there and then on the bottom and then in the middle. And I think I'm going to put that on some newspaper maybe or put it on a piece of tape and just paint the uh, top of it here, the part that's going to be showing. I also have the front V-brace wrapped in the uh, vinyl wrap that I'm going to paint over. So yeah, I believe she's all ready to go. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint ready and then start painting the V-brace and the brake calibers. So I'm getting ready to put the paint on the calibers and everything, but before I do that, it states on the box that you're supposed to uh, mix this reactor like solution or whatever with the paint, like I said earlier. But you're only going to want to do that right before you're going to start painting everything, uh, because it'll set. Uh, I guess it'll like harden or whatever. It won't, you won't be able to use the paint once this is mixed in after about six hours four to six hours so you're gonna want to do this in a timely manner uh, you, you will have a sort of a time limit uh, but like I said you're gonna want to do this right before you're about to do everything about to paint everything so that you have the most amount of time as possible so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open up the can and mix uh, this together and then stir it with the stir stick here and then we can begin painting everything in it says to wait about five minutes so that uh, the reactor uh, mixes and everything and I guess combines with the paint uh, and then I'm gonna start again right before I actually start applying the paint with the brush pretty much put all of the coats on. I put a total of four coats on each brake caliber and the front 
V-brace and this is what it looks like. So it has a very nice glossy finish and I was able to get pretty much every part of the brake caliber uh, that was seen with the brush since so that's easier. Um, the only downside is that I wasn't able to get a smooth uh, glossy finish. You can see it's kind of uneven. It's not really smooth but overall like it still looks good. I feel like that's the only downside of using a brush. I felt like if I would have used like a spray it would have gotten a more even uh, coating of everything so it would look more smooth and glossy but I don't think it's that big of a deal. It still looks glossy and it looks nice. It looks good. So I'm not too worried about that. And then back here you can see the back on the was able to get everything it looks really good and here's the other side the sides in the shade so you may be able to get a better look it looks really good and then the other front brake caliber same thing overall it has a nice like glossy finish it's just not a smooth finish um, but it still looks really good Definitely happy with how this turned out. And then here's the front V-brace. Same thing, um, it doesn't have a smooth finish, but it is glossy and it has a nice solid color to it. Um, up close, obviously, you're gonna see every detail, but from, from afar, you can't really tell. It just looks green. Would like to point out that I still have paint left and I pretty much did four coats and there's still paint left so they give you plenty of paint to do I want to say at least maybe six coats total which you probably won't even need um, but so yeah that shouldn't be an issue about if you're gonna have enough paint or not unless you have some giant brake calibers. So now that I have completely painted everything I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a few hours but while it's drying I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape uh, that's around the parts that I didn't want to get paint on. It's still not completely dry, but it's dry to the touch and I don't want the tape to, you know, cure with the paint so that it's harder to remove after a few hours. So I'm just going to remove it now that it's still kind of uh, wet and not dry. Uh, along with that, I'm going to go ahead and put the front bumper back on um, so that I can save some time here. Once the calibers have dried after a couple hours, I'm going to go ahead and put the M logo on and then everything will be officially finished. I'm going to go ahead and throw the wheels back on and then I'm going to show you guys some final shots of the car with this new paint caliber color. So the paint has been drying for about two hours now and it is pretty much dry to the touch. Uh, feels very smooth. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the M logos on the two front calibers and then we'll be able to get a nice look at how this looks as a whole on the car.
All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. As you guys saw, the caliber paint came out excellent. It looks so good. I'm definitely satisfied with how these came out. It's been a few days now since I painted them and the paint is pretty much just adhered and cured and it's completely permanently on there. But on camera, you can see the finish is pretty good. Uh, with the human eye, you can definitely see that it's not perfectly smooth, but overall, like I said, still looks good. Um, not too worried and not too disappointed about that. As you can see, the black M sticker looks a lot better that it's on there rather than if, if, if it wasn't on there. As for the front V brace, uh, it came out okay. As you can see, I didn't paint all the way uh, to the side there. You can still kind of see where I stopped, uh, even from out here. Um, but from afar, it still looks good. You can't really tell. But up close, you can definitely see that I didn't uh, finish uh, all the way back there to the end of the V brace where it goes behind that plastic piece. But overall, it still looks pretty good. Um, I, don't, I think I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. As always, I will link down the exact paint kit I used in this video to paint my calibers if you guys wanna check those out. Again, I definitely recommend this kit if you are planning to paint your calibers. Uh, it's a lot easier than using spray paint because you have a brush and it's a little bit easier con to control where you get paint. So that is going to do it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, as always, comment them down below. And let me know what you guys think of the color and the finish and what you guys think of this kit. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here for more content like this, if this seems like what you'd like seeing. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.